Hey, good morning. Happy Monday morning. I'm Angie Rose with Angie Rose Health Coaching, and I'm here today with our weekly Monday Mojo, your motivational speech for the week to kick you in the butt to do the right thing and keep your health and wellness at the forefront of whatever's going on in your life. So that was a lot of words. I didn't even realize I had that in me. So I am super excited. Good morning, Amber. Thank you for joining me. So today I want to start out with a couple things, just a couple of announcements. Number one, we are doing our open house tonight. For those of you who have never been to my new joint, I would love to invite you. Um, I am opening it up for everybody to come in and take a look at what we have to offer uh, between the gym, the sauna, the Fit 3D, the Echelon Mirror, um, our cryotherapy or cryo slimming demos. Um, Miss Bailey, our personal trainer, is going to be in the house and at 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. doing some pound class demonstrations. If you guys have never done pound class, you absolutely are missing out. If you need somewhere to take out frustration and you like music, I'll tell you what, you get a good calorie burn as well as some fun in the process. So she's going to be doing some of those demos. Um, we will have some really great drawings for you guys. We've got a free sauna card. We've got um, a one month free gym membership as well as one free cryo slim. And then Miss Bailey is giving away one of her baskets with some good stuff in it too. Um, and so we have a lot of fun stuff going on tonight from 4 to 7 p.m. 2215 North Web Road here in Grand Island. Stop in, get your name in the drawing, uh, take a look at the place, ask questions. Uh, we want to show you what we have available. I know as the first of the year does come around, most of you guys are focusing on Christmas and the holiday coming up, but January 1 is going to be here really quick. And I want you guys to have a plan and be prepared for whatever it is you're going to be focused on after the holidays. Well, hopefully now but after the holidays we're running a great gym special as well that's open to the public which I haven't really done that before I'm opening that up to the public that if you get a gym membership in December December is completely free you can come in and use the gym and then uh, you it's a six-month membership so for 25 bucks a month so it's pretty cool so hopefully you guys will take a little time come show me some love tonight hey miss Susan thanks for hopping on um, I hope to see you tonight for our open house. And so anyways, today, guys, I want to talk with you about something that is really, really important to me and something that absolutely shifted the way that I look at eating healthy, exercise, um, and taking care of myself. And it's actually a couple words. Um, and so I titled my teaching today called I Don't Versus I Can't. And I think there's something really, really powerful about words. I mean, the Bible tells us that. I, you know, I'm a Christian, so I'm throwing that out there. The Bible tells us that there is life and death and the power of the tongue. But the reality of it is, guys, that how we speak usually is how we think. And how we think depends, it, it will dictate how we act or our reactions, if you will. So the truth of the matter is, is if I am consistently looking at health and wellness as a negative thing, which is I can't, then what does end up happening, guys, is honestly, it creates rebellion in us and it creates this um, hindrance and this feeling of smothering that a lot of times when we are like, I can't eat that, I can't go there, I can't do that, or even I have to do that, it feels very different than I don't do that, or I am choosing to do that. Does that make sense? They're, they sound similar, but very, very different in the way we look at something and how we react to something. Okay, so we have a choice. This is a thing that I always tell my clients, and this is what I had to teach myself, was when I would struggle in the very beginning when my, in my weight loss, and I would say, well, I can't have that. It felt very depriving to me 
And there's this little rebellious streak inside Angie Rose, and there always has been. It's much littler now than it used to be in my younger years. But there's this rebelliousness that kicks up in me that says, nobody's going to tell me I have to or I can't. And so then I would end up self-sabotaging myself over and over again with very good, when I was in, doing very good, or sometimes when I wasn't doing very good. Okay, so this is all about mindset. It's how you perceive or look at what you're going after and what you're doing. If you are looking at something as a hassle or a chore, or I have to, or I can't do that because it causes shame and makes me feel bad, then the reality of it is you're going to be much more susceptible to give up because at some point you're going to be over it, right? So let's just say, for example, you're at a holiday party. We have our Case New Holland, my husband's Christmas party this Saturday night, and they're serving prime rib, which Angie Rose will be eating because mama loves some good prime rib. <laughs> but I will go and enjoy the evening. And um, let's say, for example, I get to the end of my meal and then I realize, oh man, they just brought all the dessert out. And I think to myself, oh, I know I'm right on the verge of feeling full and I'm feeling pretty good about what I did. I didn't overeat and I didn't stuff myself. But man, a piece of dessert really sounds good. But how many of you know that feeling of if I do that, I'm probably going to be miserable, but I'm going to do it anyway. Been there, done that a billion times, and you guys probably have too, and that's the truth of it. So what I want you guys really thinking about is, you know, instead of thinking about that situation and going, well, I can't really do that, you need to change the wording. I am choosing not to do that. I am choosing not to eat dessert or I don't eat dessert when I am that full. I don't do it because it's my choice. This is the thing is there's just something in us that shifts and triggers. It can either shift for the positive or it can trigger us that makes us feel like I just can't do it because it's bad and then I'm bad and then I've done something wrong, right? So I can't eat dessert or I don't eat dessert. Two different things, okay? They sound similar, but really one feels depriving, the other feels like a choice. And I don't know about you guys, but I know me, and I would rather make the choice to do the right thing a lot of times versus having somebody tell me I have to do the right thing. In the beginning, accountability is nice, and it's nice to have somebody to tell us those things, but at some point that gets old and we have to shift that, that accountability from somebody else to us. And sometimes it just takes an extra person to help us to get there. But at some point we get the opportunity to shift from I can't to I don't. And we willingly do that. We were at Thanksgiving and I had one of my, my husband's cousins say as I was grabbing one piece of dessert and well, actually one piece of pie, of pie and one little square fudge. And I heard, as she said, I wish I had your self-control. And the reality of it is I've been doing this for years. I'm choosing not to eat all those things because I know how I'm going to feel when it's over. And I don't want to feel miserable. I want to have energy tomorrow or even later today. So here's the thing. When we move from I can't to I don't, it creates power for us to have the choice to be in control and make the right choice. And actually, this helps us to set boundaries for ourselves. Boundaries are probably one of the biggest things that most people struggle with. A lot of my clients coming in, it's not even just boundaries with themselves, but boundaries with others. But we're very much more, um, they're very much more, that's not how I want to word it. It is harder for them to set boundaries with themselves than it is with other people. But sometimes it's across the board. And a lot of times we will see this in our food choices, our lack of exercise, what we do to reward ourselves because we look at things that are very hurtful for us as rewards and 
it just starts that self-sabotage cycle. So what our goal here is, and my goal for you is, is to help you revamp your willpower cycle. Instead of it being a willpower of somebody told me I can't have that, it's more I am choosing I don't do that because I know what that's going to do to me or make me feel or I'm going to take 10 steps back, whatever it might be. So I want you thinking like these are some example statements to, that you can try to say out loud to yourself just to kind of hear what I'm talking about. So for example, this ain't me because I am an old lady and I need to be in bed early and earlier, but I don't stay up till 1 a.m. when I have to work the next day versus I can't stay up, right? I don't skip my scheduled workouts versus I don't feel like working out today. I don't skip my scheduled workouts or I don't eat processed foods or I don't eat after 8 p.m. or whatever, fill in the blank, the very thing that you're struggling with, how do you come up with a positive statement that gives you control back over what you're eating, what you're doing, what you're trying to accomplish, right guys? Okay, so really, it, it's actually scientific research even shows that making that shift from an I don't to versus I can't mindset can make all the difference in your willpower and your choices. It really comes back to perception wording and how you're looking at what you're going after if you look at it in a negative manner it's going to feel negative and you're going to feel out of control if you look at it as a positive self-choice i get to do these things i choose to do these things it changes the outcome i promise i'm living proof of that and i really do think this way instead of I have to go work out, I get to go work out. I get to eat healthy food. I get to feel good and have energy today. I get to pull on my skinny jeans and feel comfortable in them versus stuffing myself into them. I get to fill in the blank, right? So I hope that helps you guys a little bit. Start paying attention to your inner thinking, the thoughts that are going through your mind what you what you are looking at things that you're that you're choosing to do um how you're looking at them how you're looking at them okay because it all matters hey deb welcome to the show nice to hear to see you on there so anyways guys that's really what i've got for you this week you know as we're getting into the holidays and we're getting into holiday parties and we're getting into all this stuff that everything is centered around food it's centered around alcohol and drinks and fun and snacking. Uh, the reality of it is, hi, Brenda. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, you know, the truth is, guys, you are setting, you're set up for failure. I, I'm just being realistic with you. Unless you look at every situation differently and you look at the positive of it and that you can go in and do a good job, you can go in and make good food choices you can stop after one plate you can have one serving and be done i'm choosing to have one serving and be done so look at it pay attention to it come out a winner i know you guys can do this and i hope this motivates you for the week to get going uh, i hope i see some of you guys at the open house tonight just to show you my new space um, and show you all the new things that we're offering at Angie Rose Health Coaching. Get to ask the coach questions. I'm here. Kimberly will be here. Bailey will be here. Come, come, come. The weather is actually pretty decent, so we're not tracking out in snow. Um, come have a water and some fruits and vegetables and some good little snacks before your dinner, because, of course, I'm going to serve you good stuff. Um, and take a look at the joint. Maybe come try some pound. All right, guys. We'll see you tonight. Have a great rest of your week. We'll see you next Monday, okay? Bye.